Hey everyone, I just want to start this weekly news recap wrapping up what happened this week. This week has been a short week with the Canadian markets closed on Monday and the US markets closed on Thursday. So not a lot of news this week, so it's going to be a quick video today. Just when we thought we might be done with the trade war news for a bit. While the US are negotiating trade between China, you would assume they would hold off against other countries until a deal was imminent or until at least some progress has been made. But nope, they have already proposed more tariffs on the EU. These new tariffs are part of a 15 year dispute between the US and the EU over aircraft subsidies given to Boeing and Airbus. Crude oil has had another volatile week. We started the week off with a move upwards with OPEC announcing that they have come to an agreement with Russia to extend the production cuts for 9 months. But later on during the week, we had some disappointing economic data which dampens the global demand and oil drops. EIA reported crude inventories declining about 1.1 million barrels this week as well versus the expected decline of 3 million barrels. But what surprised me this week was the Drew non-farm payrolls which was much higher than expected. Analysts was looking for around 160,000 jobs but it came in at 224,000. The number was so great that it pushed the markets lower because analysts are now predicting that it will reduce the chances of a rate cut in July. In Tesla news this week, they reported the Q2 delivery numbers and they were much better than expected. Tesla announced productions of 87,000 vehicles and deliveries of over 95,000 vehicles well above analyst expectations of around 87 to 91,000 vehicles being delivered. Of those vehicles, they were expecting about 74,000 vehicles to be Model 3s, but they delivered over 77,000 Model 3s. And on top of that, they had so many new orders that it exceeded the number of vehicles being delivered that it increases their backlog. In Canadian news this week, the June job report numbers came out and we lost 2,200 jobs in June and the unemployment rate ticked up to 5.5% compared to 5.4% in May. On top of that, economists were expecting to add about 10,000 jobs, but on a positive note, wage growth grew about 3.6% compared to June of last year. In the month of May, it marks the fourth time we saw a trade surplus in Canada since the oil plummeted back in 2014. In the month of May, we reported a trade surplus of 762 million versus the expected trade deficit of 1.7 billion. This trade plus we saw in the month of May was largely helped due to the shipment of car and car parts to the US. On Wednesday, July the 3rd, it was announced that Bruce Linton as co-CEO of Canopy Growth will be stepping down immediately, but it wasn't until later on during an interview with CNBC that he reported he was actually fired. This was due to some dispute over the company's strategy between Bruce Linton and Constellation Brands. It was back in August of 2018 when Canopy Growth got a $5 billion investment from Constellation Brand, and with that investment, Constellation Brand became the largest shareholder. And with that investment, the board members were changed and now they want to take the company on a different direction. Overall, a short and slow but positive week for the markets. Nothing much happened this week. We started the week off with some possible EU tariffs, which was a slight drag on the markets, but it overcame it and continued its march upwards. Then we had some great job numbers report, which again dragged the markets down, as it lowered the probability of a rate cut in July. But again, investors overcame it and rallied the markets right back up, with the expectation that they still think the Fed will cut rates in July. And as always, if you like this series, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.